Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun is meeting with senators on Capitol Hill today as the company's airplanes are coming under increased scrutiny following a string of troubling incidents. And what's your message to passengers concerned about flying on your planes? We fly safe planes. We don't Easy put airplanes in the air that we don't have 100% confidence in. I'm here today in the spirit of transparency to, number one, recognize the seriousness of what you just asked. Number two, to share everything I can with our Capitol Hill interests um, and answer all their questions because they have a lot of them. Today's meetings come after the Federal Aviation Administration says a Delta plane lost a nose wheel as it prepared to take off from Atlanta on Saturday. This is a 31-year-old Boeing 757 aircraft. More than 170 passengers had to deboard that plane. Fortunately, no one was injured. Also last week, you may remember, flames were seen shooting from a Boeing 747 cargo plane as it made an emergency landing over in Miami. A spokesperson for At Atlas Air says the aircraft experienced an engine malfunction soon after departure, but it landed safely. And earlier this month, an Alaska Airlines flight also had to make an emergency landing after a portion of the aircraft blew out mid-air. It is all of our worst nightmares. The FAA has since ordered about 170 Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes in the U.S. to be grounded for inspection. CBS News senior transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve joins us now to talk about what really is remarkable, Chris. I'm wondering specifically what are senators seeking to accomplish through today's meeting with uh, the head of Boeing, Mr. Calhoun? Well, there are individual meetings uh, with a number of senators on the Hill, uh, and, you know, they all have questions. Certainly, he'll, we know he'll be meeting with Senator Cantwell of Washington State. She is the chair of the Senate Commerce Committee that oversees uh, aviation. Also, Boeing it builds those airplanes in her own backyard. So she's going to have a lot of questions for Boeing uh, about safety and about the, the MAX situation, the ongoing NTSB investigation into that, that door plug that blew out that door panel. Uh, we know he's also meeting with Senator Warner of Virginia, Senator Cruz. Uh, Senator Cruz is the ranking Republican on the Aviation Subcommittee in the Senate. He has been very vocal since this incident that he has questions and concerns. Uh, so that will, uh, th those will likely come up when, when Calhoun meets with Senator Cruz. We believe that meeting is happening tomorrow, uh, Cantwell and Warner today. And Chris, you've covered the transportation beat for, for such a long time. You've logged many miles around the world. From your point of view, how unusual is it that we see these separate incidents all dealing with Boeing aircraft, but within such short order of one another? I mean, it's a landing wheel. It's bolts around temporary doors. How much does this jump out to you? Well, I think what jumps out to me is the Alaska Airlines incident. The, mm. uh, the, the Boeing 757 that had uh, what, what amounts to likely a maintenance issue uh, with that wheel coming off, uh, it's a bit, that would be a bit like blaming the, the people who uh, built homes in the 1950s for a water heater that goes out today. Uh, it's a 31-year-old airplane. Boeing hasn't made the 757 in almost 20 years. So uh, it's an airplane with a, with a very strong safety record. Uh, you know, and, and I think to keep in mind, there are 45 to 50,000 scheduled flights in the U.S. every day, more than double that worldwide. Boeing and Airbus aircraft have issues in the air. They have maintenance problems. We, you know, they, they happen all the time. Just, you know, some of these are notable because there was video of the 747. Uh, obviously, there's an inve NTSB investigation into that to find out what happened there. But it's not the first time we've seen an engine failure. Uh, it happens on Airbus and Boeing aircraft. It, it's, it's making news because Boeing is in the news for the MAX issues. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, anytime people hear a Boeing airplane, it perks the ears right now. I think that's more why you're seeing uh, these get the attention they're getting. And you make a good point in that they're so visual, right? These are the moments and the videos that go viral, whereas aircraft taking off and landing safely every day uh, does not. And no one was injured in, in any of what we've just shown. Um, that being said, though, what is the FAA and what are these airlines who are involved doing to reassure the rest of us that these aircraft are, in fact, safe? Well, you know, the MAX 9s are grounded. Uh, the airlines are waiting for finalized guidance from the FAA and Boeing as to what inspection process needs to happen to, to verify that these door panels are secure. Uh, the FAA has instructed uh, Alaska, United, and Delta to look at the previous generation of the 737 
9, it would be the 900 ER that also has this door panel uh, to verify that those bolts are, are tightened correctly. Uh, you know, and then the airlines, because uh, they are the front line of this. We'll, we'll have to talk about safety uh, and we'll have to answer questions in, in part for Boeing because, you know, Boeing looks at their customers as the airlines, not those of us who fly on Boeing airplanes. Uh, the question that Boeing and the FAA have to answer, if you're Boeing, you're going to have to tell me why if you can't be trusted or your suppliers can't be trusted to tighten bolts on a door panel, why you can be trusted to do anything else right on an airplane. And if you're the FAA, how can you be trusted to oversee the construction of airplanes if once again we're having issues with the same type of airplane that had issues before that you were supposed to increase your oversight of? Yeah, very key questions. Uh, Chris Van Cleve, we appreciate your insight. Thanks very much. Sure thing.